um, this town is really in danger. These guys are working hard to open the roads and look at that. Any minute it can take the road with it. This is number two. Do you need help with that? Huh? Do you need help? <laughs> okay. Take care. Bye. Just hit a, another E6 barrier. So I'm a bit uh, unsure where to go. I'm gonna check my travel. Seems like E6 is for bicycles only today. It's all mine. And I don't know why there was a roadblock, but let's go figure out. But let's hope. E6 remains for us. Little hammer. This is unusual. Finally, I'm into a slope. Yes, I couldn't cycle it. It's quite high. I don't know how many degrees it is. Motorbike. Yeah, motorbike. Hi. Nice to meet you. Yes. Uh, can you leave it there? Yeah, you can leave it there in the town. just took off from my Airbnb in Brumandal um, but firstly when I arrived to Brumandal my first expression of the town wasn't great it's quite a clean nice little town but I don't, know, I, I don't get a good feeling about it and the Airbnb I had last night 
pues we'll probably get worse. Airbnb, I hide in Norway. I mean, the lady who was uh, host, the host of the Airbnb was quite nice. She was a nice lady, but she didn't want it, like, even though she was renting the room, she didn't want the guests to come to her uh, kitchen and living area. And she basically wanted you to like stay in the room and don't come to the living room and just leave from the door right there which is not very welcoming you know I've been I don't want to make my sandwich in my room my sandwich my sandwich I had a very bad vibe like this morning I just wanted to leave the bed wasn't comfortable the room was not uh, aired enough there was a very weird smell also the the shower is in the very basement of the basement of the house it was basically like a dungeon but i want to roll so i feel alive again and today is going to be about 100 kilometers that's very much uphill so gonna be chill off we go It's a tough day today, even though it's not more than 1,000 meter elevation. There's a lot of up and down, and I think I'm a bit tired of that. Bridge was closed. The cheats the neighborhood told me that is not. No treat is complete without kebab. <laughs> Today is a mixed feeling. I'm both sad and happy because it's my last day. Even today, I only have 70 kilometers to do. It's not very much uphill. I'm on a time trial. 9 a.m. It's 9:30. I'm leaving the Airbnb. Heading directly to Oslo, so I was sub I'm supposed to be there by maximum latest 2:45, which give which gives me about less than six hours uh, for 70 kilometers. I think it's good enough, and I have the energy and I have the vibe. So, yeah, let's go to the last day. Here I am, here I am in Oslo, finally, after, I don't know, 700 kilometers, 
7,000 meters uphill, few mountains climbed. And that's my ship right there. Happy, I'm sad. Don't want to go back to normal life. And I need a bit of rest as well. It feels great. It feels great. I did something which I have never done before. It's a great thing. One of the great things I could have done. Very. So that's it. That's the end of the seven days, 700 kilometers and 7,000 meters plus, about 8,000 meters uphill. I don't have the statistics because I'm, as you can see, I'm on the sea and I don't have the internet connection to get out my statistics. I will be sharing my statistics pretty soon. Um, it was a great experience overall. I loved it. This was my first time doing gravel riding. Uh, doing it alone, solo, uh, in Norway, and I loved it, it was great. And yeah, I would come back again to Norway, that's for sure, I would love to come back again, but this time I'm going to do the, the ocean road. The ocean road, I heard about it a lot, it's very tough, it's very challenging, but this time I will be more prepared and I will be more aware of what to expect yeah and i think that concludes my trip in norway uh let's see what's next what we can do otherwise